doubles and coffee wow pnm rowley indemnity ngc 440 million dollars kevin ramner i told them since 2019 go and check it don't take my word for it that atlantic lng will be mothballed because of dry holes dug by bp rowley take your money in light of all that evidence, in light of all that information, Kevin Ramnarine stated it categorically that there will be no gas. Shell stated it. BPTT stated it. Rowley and Smallpin ignored all the advice, took your money that you put them in control of, and they removed checks and balances. They go to the parliament and legalize Stephen with the vote of independent senator bench. That's what who y'all have in charge. Then he comes now. Two years after Kevin Ramnarine told y'all, and y'all say UNC and PNM is the same. Two years after Kevin Ramnarine of the UNC stated categorically that that is dead. That's a dead rubber. Do not invest. No one else will. We have to move forward, make better decisions, invest our money in the right way. Maybe in renewables. Then maybe somebody would have stayed to listen to Rowley. 440 million. The board want indemnity because they could not even get director's liability insurance because the key tenant to get that insurance is that you must act in good faith. Any decision to invest money in Atlantic LNG train one since 2019 is not a decision done in good faith. And therefore, no logical business insurer in company would take you seriously. So that's why the board members wanted to take it to beg for indemnity because they were instructed to do so by the cabinet, by the prime minister, by Keith Christopher Rowley, one of the board members boasting on social media, I am a party card member, I am a PNM, PNM is my party. Good morning, Dan Martino. Where your indemnity? 440 million, and that's not it there. This board also took decision 200 million to invest in something that they didn't need. And then another 200 million in a project that went bust nearly three quarter bubble billion dollars and keith rowley just come and tell all you and making joke oh the doctor's putting on his coat it dead the doctor now putting on his coat by you when the bury the body burn on open pyre since 2019 open pyre cremation down the river up in smoke since 2019 rowley comes back from embarrassing the country and makes a joke about the doctor putting on the coat now after three quarter bubble billion dollars gone and then coming to tell y'all pay property tax and an independent senator telling y'all y'all want to waste money on diwali nagar but you don't want to pay property tax equating spirituality of of diwali with carnival jam and wine that is independent senators for you no apology but they're talking about class like them is the massa class them is the plantation class looking down at the black and brown people fire burn all all you people have become aware that the independent bench is no longer independent they are dependent since helen drayton helen drayton created it and enhanced it and pro and made it professional to be a pnm independent senator as soon as the people's partnership lost and kamala lost she jumped out on a pnm board what she just was in independent and when she wake up on tuesday morning on the 8th of october 8th of september 2015 she just transformed to pnm just so miraculously and all the rest of the time she was independent and looking at issues from an independent standpoint after swearing on the bible rowley has cost this country he and small pin in energy in the last four years cost you the taxpayers check it profits for ngc due to the houston negotiation of rowley and small pin who usurped the authority from intelligent people who were battling hard for our benefit six bubble billion us at least lost the consequent shutdowns at point leases of 11 industries at least a further four bubble billion us over the four years 
of tax revenue from those industries. And across the board, we have lost money because of the decisions, the three-quarter billion at the NGC that was thrown away and flushed and Rowley making joke about it now. How much money has Rowley cost you in your pocket because all of this energy revenue is yours and therefore you would not need to go property tax you would not need to keep vat on scammers seven thousand food items you would not need to ensure that he digs deeper in your pockets and bring revenue authority to determine who will pay and who will not pay Rowley, you are paying to keep an incompetent human being, an arrogant human being, a classless human being, a bully, a liar, and a dancing office. You are paying. You would not even pay to keep a cleaner who's not cleaning your home. If a cleaner comes and you pay them $300 for the day, and you see dust and the windows have flakes on it, and you see cobweb, or the bed not made up properly, or the kitchen wears, you take out a spoon and the spoon has cross on it, you will fire your cleaner. But you keep Rowley and paying hundreds of thousands of dollars annually to keep Rowley in a place. Look, even the Catholic Archdiocese has to raise money for education, $21 million, because children have no laptops, no access, no Wi-Fi, no MyPi, no nothing, and they're just not going anywhere under Rowley. And then in Tobago, they say, Tobago say, yes, vote PNM for the change we need. <laughs> vote PNM in Tobago for the change we need. PNM in Tobago controlling since 2003, and they control the central government. 2003 to 2010, 2015 to present. So them control both arms, Tobago, THA, and central government for 80% of that time. And them come to say, Tobagonians, vote for us. Vote for the PNM because we need to change from the PNM. Greatest Trinidad and Tobago. All here, I go on. Bless.